Identifying a properly firm infant mattress. Welcome to this presentation on preventing infant suffocation due to mattresses that are too soft. There is a published standard to define the acceptable degree of softness in a baby mattress. The reference shown here is for the first such standard. By now, there may be other similar standards that you can find reference to online. Four published studies have linked overly soft sleep surfaces to infant death. Of course, infants should always be positioned face up to sleep, but they can turn themselves face down and suffocate on a mattress that is too soft. The published standard specifies a simple test apparatus, or gauge, that can be applied to any sleep surface. The gauge is placed directly on the sleep surface. If the weight of the gauge causes it to sink into the surface more than a specified distance, then the surface is too soft to be safe for a baby. Here the gauge has been placed on a firm enough mattress. The feeler arm, which extends out over the edge of the gauge, does not contact the mattress. Here the gauge has been placed on a surface that is too soft. The feeler arm contacts the surface and may be bent upwards as a result. It is a very easy test, but what can you do if you do not have the required gauge? You can conduct an alternative test using some common household objects. All you need are 12 computer disks, either CDs or DVDs, and two full one liter or one quart cartons of juice or milk. The cartons you need are the ones with the square bottoms, 70 millimeters square at the base, which is equivalent to two and three quarter inches square at the base. Take one of the cartons and on all four sides measure up from the bottom edge 40 millimeters, which is equivalent to about one and a half inches. Then draw a line on each side to form a ring all the way around the carton. Arrange the 12 computer disks in a stack and wrap the stack in kitchen cling wrap or a plastic bag to protect the discs. Then place the stack of computer discs where the baby's head will be on the mattress. Now take the carton that you drew the ring on and lay it down on the top disc, in the middle of the disc, with the ring positioned in line with the edge of the top disc. This will produce an overhang of 40 millimeters or one and a half inches. Next, lay the second full carton on top of the first, selecting a position so that the whole stack rests in an approximately level position. Finally, observe whether the overhanging bottom carton contacts the top of the mattress. If the overhanging carton contacts the mattress, then the mattress is too soft to be safe. You will need to find a firmer mattress for your baby to be safe. Here is an example of a test on a mattress that is too soft. Note how the overhanging lower carton comes into direct contact with the mattress. In this presentation you have been introduced to two methods of objective testing for mattress firmness. One for industry and one for consumers. Remember, never add extra padding under a baby. Keep pillows, bumpers, and toys out of the bed. Here is some information on the first published standard, which happens to be from Australia and New Zealand. Contact me if you require further information. Thanks for your attention.